Now, before we even start this video, I just want I just want you guys to know that I am a big Nintendo fan. Like, I even have Nintendo markings on my hand. Like, I'm a huge Nintendo fan, but this Nintendo OLED was such a disappointment. I feel I didn't. Put, I'm not even set up to do like a real video because I'm so. Dis I just woke up. Literally, just woke up. Saw a Nintendo OLED and I got all hyped. I watched the video and I was like, okay. I watched it all the way to the end, and then I felt like I missed something. So I rewatched the video and I felt like I'm still missing something. So I went on Twitter, I started looking around, nothing. Like nothing, like Nintendo dropped the ball. Like guys, I know Nintendo fans, my other Nintendo enthusiasts, if you want to say that, my other Nintendo fanboys or my other Nintendo fans, I am aware that Nintendo never focuses on graphics. They never focus on graphics. Nintendo was always about gameplay and their games and the way you play their games. So everyone talking crap, you gotta always remember Nintendo is about how you play the games the game experience, and they always make their first party games quality. However, there was no reason not to make this 4K so far. Maybe there's something we're missing. Maybe there is going to be a future report as um, RGT85 said in one of his videos that I literally just watched. And I will be watching other, other videos because I'm trying to still get more information about this. I read their description for it and I haven't seen 4K once again. And I'm not, I'm not asking much Nintendo. Nintendo, this is for you. I'm not asking much. I'm not asking much. In gaming consoles, in my opinion, Nintendo and Sony win when it comes to games and their consoles and how you play. Xbox, love Game Pass. Love Game Pass. I, I, I will always buy Game Pass for my kids. Game Pass is a good deal for gamers. So I will always shout out Xbox for that. But I'm very underwhelmed, very disappointed. I am not excited about what this OLED. The, the name is such nonsense. Nintendo OLED. What? Nintendo, come on. New Nintendo Switch Pro. S Nintendo, Super Super Nintendo Switch. Super Switch, right? You can call it, bleh. you get me for all I care, but Nintendo OLED? Come on, guys. This was, at least we got Sony State of Play coming, and that's some good news for you. This is not the way I normally do my videos, but I just woke up and I literally, I literally was disappointed. I, I literally woke up and was just completely disappointed. Do better, Nintendo. Like, do better to your fans. Like, we, I think, I think your fans need a little bit more boost in graphics. Stop being so cheap. You have the money to do it. You have the ability to do it. You have the team to do it. Don't don't be so cheap holding out on the technology that's been out. However, in Nintendo's defense, once again, Nintendo only focuses on gameplay and the way you play their game. They've been doing it for years with their controls, their control pads, the the, the game themselves, the quality of games always been good. This is a little rant. I feel a little underwhelmed, feel a little disappointed. I will be buying this regardless. It doesn't make a difference. I will. I, I gave away my old Switch. Waited years. Years. Literally gave away my old Switch. Thinking, okay, there's going to be a Switch Pro soon. And I literally waited years to get just a slightly bigger screen. Which I'm not disappointed. An OLED screen, which is not a bad screen, guys. So OLED screen, just to make you know, it's not a bad screen. However, so underwhelmed by this. I'm th I thought this would have came out with the Breath of the Wild Part 2. Sony made their announcement at the perfect timing because Nintendo dropped the ball. I feel like the Sony state of play might not be as big as everybody is making it out to be. Anyway, that's my thoughts. That's how I feel. I just woke up. Give me a break. Just doing a regular video. My name is Will. Don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. Stay gold, my friends, and thank you for watching.